Uh oh. Oh no, oh no, oh no, we got a transforming werewolf! Hey everyone, it's Silver Kit, and we are back playing more Sims 4 with Kit Chaos. And, um, there's a new family member. This is Princess Snowflake. She's the princess from next door who we actually kidnapped and held for ransom. We even built this lovely little tower for her to stay in. And she ended up loving it so much that she just decided to stay here with us. So, uh, now we have a princess. We also changed up the tower a little bit. We built this bridge from the tower into the house so she doesn't have to go all the way down the ladder and out the door if she wants to get inside. And this is the princess's cute little room. She's got her easel, she's got her gramophone playing romantic music, and she even has a balcony. Oh yes, and we also have the newest addition to the family, who's going to be very helpful when he grows up. So princess's aspiration is soulmate. She really wants a boyfriend or a girlfriend, but she lived with three overprotective knights who never let her outside. So today, Kit is going to take her out on the town. And we're gonna go searching for the perfect boyfriend or girlfriend. And what better place to start looking than the big city? Princess is grabbing some chips and sitting alone with Havoc. Okay, Princess, this is not the way to find your soulmate. Get in there and chat with somebody. A chat with this guy, he looks cute. Oh, he left. Um, let's see, how about the bartender? The bartender looks pretty cute. There we go. He's flirting, he likes it. Hey, person. Go away, you're distracting the princess. Why don't you go take a walk? Oh, and now there's a werewolf. No, princess, don't be upset. I'm doing this for you. Go flirt with the bartender. I'm apparently going to sing karaoke. Badly. Okay, they're getting along. They're getting along. Um, no. Princess is not doing so good. And Kit is embarrassed because of her bad singing. Well, at least she can help with one thing. There we go. Now he's more receptive. We're getting there very, very slowly. Oh no, they're not getting along. All right, princess, obviously this isn't working. Even Kit thinks this isn't working. Um, it's time to go. Let's try Henford on Bagley. Everyone is friendly at Henford on Bagley, even in the thunderstorm. Everybody inside, get inside. Princess, you can't let that first guy get you down. You have to get out there and try again. Okay. Now we're feeling confident. Uh, unfortunately, it seems the weather is keeping away most of the customers here. Oh, but there is a festival going on. All right, we found somebody to talk to. Princess, go flirt with him. Don't mind me. I'm just going to stand here awkwardly. Kit is not enjoying this, but at least these two are getting along. Okay, that is a very nice oversized watermelon. I need a distraction. Look, everyone. There's fire. Oh, no, fire. Quick, grab the watermelon. Ugh, I got caught. By who? Who caught me? You. Thanks for earning my fare. Princess, let's go home. Okay, I think today we're gonna try again. After all, we can't put all our eggs in one basket. I think we need at least one or two more potentials. And since Princess is an animal enthusiast and loves animals, this time we're gonna go to Brindleton Bay. So Princess, why don't you go say hello to Brent? Havoc, let's run this obstacle course. Princess has attracted a bunch of guys. Good. Oh no, it's Don Lothario. Don't flirt with Don Lothario. Oh no, here's your other crush. Oh, this is bad. Oh, Kit's busy with Havoc in the obstacle course. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh, Elwood oh, saw them flirting. Hey, hey, person, person, Dina Caliente. You do not need to be talking to him. Good. Get rid of her. Oh, look who it is. It's Lance. We can't have Lance coming in here. There we go. Alright, old man to the rescue. Everybody stop panicking, stop panicking, the fire's out. Kit and Lance do not like each other. In fact, we never declared Lance an enemy. I think we should do that now. Well, that escalated quickly. <laughs> Everyone's just watching. <laughs> oh no, Lance won that one. Well, you know what that means, Lance. You can be a rabbit for a few hours. Who's this person? Daisy Frolic. Princess, why don't you get to know her? Now we're feeling flirty. Nope. Not so much. Oh wait, there's more people at the chess table. Quick, everybody get over here. Who do we have here? We've got Edgelord Gloombringer. Oh, that sounds like a vampire name. Yep, he's a vampire. And, um, Scruffy howls a lot, which is obviously a werewolf. And their dog is attacking a person. Oh, uh, we definitely need to make friends with these guys. Uh-oh, this werewolf is uh, getting ready to change. Uh-oh. Oh no, oh no, oh no, we got a transforming werewolf. Oh dear. 
And now she's terrified. Okay, he's going. He's going. That's good. Oh, Princess is afraid of the dark. Oh. Oh, Princess. I guess you can't blame her too much. Okay, we are going to try one more time to get out there and get Princess a boyfriend or girlfriend. And this time, we're just going to stay close. We're just going to go to the Magnolia Blossom Park. So we'll see if we can't meet some locals. Okay, it looks like Princess is chatting with someone. Oh, she's a teen. Never mind. Princess, get out of there. We don't care about teens. Although, nice horns. Uh, what you doing, princess? Looking for frogs. Are you hoping if you kiss it, it'll turn into a prince? Nausea. Those stomach gurgles don't sound good. Why are you nauseous? There's no way that you're pregnant. Nauseating from catching a frog. Oh, that's right. She's squeamish. She doesn't like slimy, icky things. Uh, you know what? This park is pretty boring. Let's go. We'll try somewhere else. Maybe this nightclub will have things happening. Uh, what are you doing, kid? You just poofed your way to order a drink. It is very pretty out here. Here. Uh, except for that giant poop that Havoc left in the middle of the path. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get down, girl. Get down. Oh, well, that was embarrassing. Where's Princess? Get down here, Princess. There's all these people. Come on, Princess. Let's show them how it's done. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There they go. Perfectly in sync. They're pretty good together. Come on, princess. You and me. Dance battle. Oh. No. That's a great start, Kit. Are you like 80? Russia. Yeah, all right, princess. Not bad. Not bad. No. Oops. Oh. <laughs> and I just poofed away. Did I forfeit? No, she's going to the bathroom. You know... For a princess, you're pretty okay. I'd rather be talking with you than anybody else. Oh, and we just became best friends. That's adorable. Uh, what's happening? Um, who could have seen that happening? Uh, princess? Oh, what? Whoa, 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 what happened? What happened? She just became very playful, but then she looks like this. Oh my gosh, she looks kind of psychotic. Okay, we can't do anything while you're looking like this. Obviously, you are sick. We need to go home and get you better before we do anything else. All right, we're home. Oh my gosh. Giggly from illness. Uncontrollable laughs are only funny for so long. Oh dear. How does one get medicine? Ah, here we go. Purchase medicine. We've got the medicine. Let's put it on the counter. We'll make Princess take it. There you go, Princess. Hopefully that'll make you feel better. And she's back to normal. Now what are you guys gonna do? I am not controlling this. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, that's kind of cute. I've not seen that before. No! <laughs> Ow. Okay. So, Princess has this fear of the dark now, and she wants to be confident outside at night. And I've heard that viewing art can make you confident. Of course, Princess is so energized that she might not become confident. Is this helping, Princess? Oh? And we're flirting again. Um, well, this is kind of a twist, isn't it? Kid, are you going to reciprocate? Oh, oh, we're making a move. Okay. We are being flirty, but we are not getting confident. So, Princess, why don't you go brush your teeth? That's a surefire way of getting confident. Hmm. These nights are worth a lot of money. No, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. We'll be good tonight. She is confident, but she is still really energized from taking the medicine. And we are continuing to flirt. But Kit is falling asleep, unfortunately. All right, come on, guys. Let's go home. Kit can just poof herself home, but poor Princess has to walk. Okay, it is a rainy, yucky Wednesday, and while Princess is upstairs napping, Kit has been working on something special. She's decided that she is tired of going out and chasing future potential boyfriend and girlfriends. Why go out and chase them when you can bring them here? So outside and around the corner, you come to the door to Princess's tower. Now through the door, you can either go up the ladder to Princess's room. Oh, and the cow plant just grew up. But anyway, through this door, there is another ladder that goes down into the boyfriend dungeon and here kit has gathered all the potentials in one spot so we have the cute bartender elwood the boy she met at the park and don lothario and these three will be competing for the princess's attention because through this door is of course the fighting cage 
Rules are fairly simple. Last one standing gets to be Princess's boyfriend. And for a little motivation, Kit has given them all a soccer ball so they can practice and get their active skill up if they want to. Oh, we have Elwood taking advantage of it. And there goes Don Lothario too. That'll make things interesting at least. The only one not practicing is the bartender. Oh, Wesley here. Looks like the only thing he's been doing is trying to cook. Yeah. Let's feed our cow plant before he eats somebody. Oh, good murder machine. How are the prisoners doing? Ugh, there's like spoiled food everywhere. Guys. Come on. I mean, I know you're bachelors and all, but do you have to be slobs? All right, princess. What do you say we go downstairs and uh, get this competition started? Just have a seat. We'll get the contestants ready now. All right. First up, we have the bartender and Elwood Frolic. Kit's no, just going to get things no. started. There they go. All right. Who's going to be the winner of this one? Oh, it looks like Elwood lost. I was hoping he would be the winner. Best two out of three. They've both been working out with the soccer ball. It should be pretty even. Okay, well, Elwood won that one last round. Come on, I'm rooting for you, Elwood. Oh, and Elwood did lose. Sorry, Elwood. I did think you were cuter, but back in your cell. All right, now we have Bartender and Don Lothario. I guess I am rooting for Wesley on this one. All right, who's it going to be? Oh, Don Lothario won. It is best two out of three. So get to fighting again, guys. Come on, bartender. Regain your honor. Oh, no. Don Lothario is the clear winner on this one. Sorry, bartender. Rules are rules. Well, princess, it looks like we have a clear winner. Don Lothario, unfortunately, is your new boyfriend. Uh, Kit, what are you doing? Oh. Oh. Kit's taking it into her own hands. I don't know what she's thinking, though. All right, well, that's one. If we're going with the rules of the fight, it needs to be two out of three. Kit, what exactly are you thinking here? Uh, that's one and one. The next one who wins this fight is the winner. All right, who's it going to be? And it's Kit. Kit is the champion. All right, Kit, uh, what now? Oh. I see. So it seems Kit had plans to be Princess's champion all along. Well, I guess this is a happily ever after for this episode. It seems now anything can happen.